sharing a head-to-head comparison of the Tombow Dual Tip Brush Pens versus the Karen Brush Marker Pro. Hi everybody, thank you for joining me today. Today I am trying out something new where we are doing a head-to-head -head comparison of two similar products. I'm kicking this series off between the Tombow Dual Tip Brush Markers and the Karen Brush Marker Pros. I do want to clarify that this review is from a bullet journal perspective, so my comments are coming from using these pens in a bullet journal specifically. I have done reviews on these pens before, a more in-depth view, so I will be linking that down below that you can check out, as well as the blog post that has a bigger comparison chart comparing more of the markets together. So I will explain to you the rules and how I will be basing my marks for each category. The versus review will be based on a number of factors and a point will be provided to the marker that is better in that category. Again, this is from a bullet journal perspective and this is my opinion. I will be showing you videos of some of the categories so that you can see what my opinion is based on. And then this post is not sponsored. I did pay for these supplies myself. So let's get into it. The categories we'll be scoring on are color intensity, color variety, cost accessibility in terms of being able to find the product, blendability, which is the three ways that I normally do, which is tip to tip, pickup method and water brush pen method. And then we'll be looking at bleed through in a bullet journal. I have a coded and a non-coded journal to compare and then 100 GSM and 160 GSM bullet journal to compare so that you can see how pens work in both of those types of journals. So we are starting off with color intensity and this one goes to Karen hands down. I find the Karen markers to be a lot brighter and a lot more intense than the Tombows and in the bullet journal world, this comes as a double-edged sword, which you will see shortly. Cost actually goes to Tombow. Now, on the surface, the Karen markers look like they're cheaper. It's $27.99 US dollars for a 12-pack versus the Tombow's that's $29.99 for a 10-pack. Now, Tombow does go on sale more often, so they are you are able to grab them at a lower price, which is why I, I rated Tombow as the winner of this. Plus, the individual markers that you can buy for Tombow are a lot less expensive than the individual markers for Karen. For example, I found a price range from five to eight dollars, that's US dollars, and Tombows are about three fifty to four dollars. So I just mentioned it, but in terms of being able to purchase the pen and find the pen, this goes to Tombow. Tombow is available pretty much anywhere and everywhere, so very easy to find and you can shop around. Karen markers aren't as widely available. They are on Amazon, which is nice, and a point, at least half a point, will get some water for that. But um, for the most part, Tombow is a lot more, e a lot easier to get a hold of. So next up we have blendability and the blendability point went to Karen. Okay, so we're going to be testing the blending of the Karen versus the Tombow. We're using Strathmore Bristol Vellum Surface. I can't find my marker paper, so this is what we're gonna use for now. Pretty good um, in terms of holding up to ink and allowing blending, so we will take a look and see. We're gonna take a look at tip to tip blending, blending together on the page, blending with a water brush pen, and then the pickup method where we pick up the color from um, this plastic that I had. Okay, so we are going to start off with tip to tip and see how it blends. Okay, so this was the tip to tip method. Now these colors are very close to each other on the spectrum, but um, it's also just really easy to blend. The ink goes on super juicy, which means that it's a much smoother blend. So that is tip to tip. 
this is blending on top of one another this is the pickup method this is with the water brush pen and that's just the watercolor effect that i thought i would share here as well so overall excellent for blending so now we're going to take a look at the tombos and see how they do using the exact same methods Okay, so this is the Tombow. As you can see, the tip-to-tip -tip method doesn't have quite as smooth of a blend as the Karens do. Um, blending into each other isn't bad, but again, takes a little bit more effort than the Karen. I do like that you have a bit more control. So the Karens are super juicy and have a lot of movement in terms of the ink sitting on the page versus Tombow dries a little bit quicker so you have a little bit more control over where the ink goes and then this is the pickup method honestly I do not like how the Tombow looks but I love how the Karen looks and this is the gradient from blending with the water brush pen again Karen wins this one for me and then as you can see if you're using it as a watercolor it goes the Karen goes a lot longer before it fades versus the Tombow fades out pretty quickly and I did two layers for both. Next up we have bleed through. So Karen markers bleed through pages easily. That vivid intensity and the juiciness of the ink leads to a lot of bleed through in journals. So the point goes to Tombow but I'm going to share how they bleed through. Okay, so this is the Dingbats 100 GSM coded notebook and we're going to do our testing for the pens in here. Um, firstly, we're just going to put the pen down on the page, then we'll do a little bit of blending. And then I just wanted to put some ink down so that you can see. And then if we hold it down for a little bit of a longer time. And now we're going to do the same with the Tombos. Again, this is just with the ink, this is with blending, this is a soft touch and this is a harder touch. And then we'll see what bleed through looks like. So as you can see, the Tombow ghosted and there is some bleed through by the Karen, especially when you're blending. So this, the coated 100 GSM paper Tombow wins this round. This is our non-coated 100 GSM Leuchtturm. Um, Leuchtturm. <laughs> and we will see how this one does. So let's see how they did. <laughs> the Karens bled through every single time, except for the, nope, it bled through there as well. And then the Tombow's just has some heavy ghosting. So Tombow wins hands down. <laughs> and now we have the 160 GSM non-coated Archer and Olive. Okay, so let's see how they did. So the Karen had bleed through on the blending, which isn't bad. Um, and it did really well otherwise. Some ghosting, maybe a little bit. I don't know if you can see that on camera. The Tombow, no ghosting, no bleed through. I've had it in the past with Karen where it does bleed through even just on the single pass. Um, but like I said, there's ghosting, but not so much bleed through only on the blend. But again, um, this one goes to Tombow. And then our last category is kind of nice touches. So um, for example, labeling, the Karen markers have the color name on the lid, which is always so great to know the color name. Um, I know you can always name pens yourselves, but it's not nearly as convenient as just being told what the color is. 
So that point goes to Karen. Easy to identify the color you're working with. That point goes to Karen as well. Yes, the Tombos have the bright cap, but otherwise it's black with a thin line of color, which can sometimes be hard to see. So um, point goes to Karen because the lid is bright and vivid and the body of the pen is the color as well. And then versatility in terms of being dual tip, that obviously goes to Tombow. Tombow has the marker tip, which is really great if you're trying to fill in details or you want to write with the actual pen and not just do brush calligraphy. So while Tombow is the clear winner in this versus, um, and of course Tombow is on my go-to as well, I do absolutely love the Karen markers. Um, they're so fun to use and I do consider them to be my favorites over Tombow just because I love that color intensity. But I'm also very much anti-bleed through. <laughs> I really don't like that they bleed so much. So I tend to use my Karens in odd projects outside of my journal and then Tombow's within my journal. So like I said, journal, bullet journaling perspective, Tombow hands down. I know they're such an industry standard and this comes as no surprise. But if you are new to journaling or you're looking at purchasing all the brush pens out there, I mean, it's, it's super overwhelming. Um, I hope this was helpful in your buying decision. If you enjoyed this series, let me know which comparison you want to see next. Um, I'm not going to lie, I do a lot of comparisons to the Tombos since they are more of an industry standard. So you're going to see the Tombos a lot. Um, so we will see if we can find something to replace Tombos for bullet journaling, creative bullet journaling. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I will see you in the next one.